Hi, I'm Nigel. I'm Al. Uh, we're going to talk to you today about our Wolf of Glamore uh, beers. Uh, we take the Wolf beer, um, which is our 6% dark Scottish ale, and we age it uh, in the cask you see above us for four months. Uh, the casks come from uh, Glenmorey Distillery down the road in Elgin. Uh, they are uh, very kind and provide us with, with casks four, four at a time uh, for each batch. Um, the beers are bottled, uh, we, we're careful with our presentation here, and every bottle is individually numbered, so uh, from each batch you get an individual number um, on the bottle. The, the difference between the two different types, uh, our original Wolf of Glenmorey is aged in the, uh, in the whiskey casks. They're ex-bourbon casks, uh, as used by Glen Morrie. They age the whiskey for at least eight years um, on sp in Speyside. Um, we then uh, take our beer in, as Nigel says, for four months. The other addition we have is a port cask finish. So again, the Glen Morrie port cask finish whiskey does about six months, its final six months, in the, uh, in the port cask. We then take it. Um, you get whiskey and port flavours into that beer. We'll taste that one second. We're tasting this one, uh, this one first. So lovely, lovely colour, deep amber, uh, sort of ruby wow. colour to it. Lovely, uh, lovely soft whiskey notes on the nose. Uh, Glen Moray whiskey has lovely vanilla flavours. Very soft, gentle whiskey from Speyside, uh, and it blends very well with the beer. Uh, the Wolf, just enough strength in the Wolf to uh, to uh, manage that. The the, the aroma is superb, it's um, very, very inviting. Um, and then in, uh, in the mouthfeel of it, it's quite a light beer, it's a very delicate beer, it's not uh, one of the big, thick Russian Imperial Stouts, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a much more delicate beer, more like drinking a, uh, a, a nice wine, but uh, with, the, with, the, with the sparkling side. Great flavour, and quite a malty, Lovely. quite a, quite, quite a yeah. malt base uh, to the start. And then uh, once you've uh, once you swallow the beer, the whiskey notes all come through. Mm. Yeah, it's 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 oh. wonder treasure and worth uh, worth seeking out. Um, for the for the other beer, the uh, uh, the port cask finish. Uh, this beer is it's a bit difficult. It's a port cask finished beer, but the port cask itself has had the whiskey in it beforehand. So you get both the, uh, the whiskey and the, and the port. So lovely tight head on that. They're all bottle conditioned. Getting the same ruby, yeah. lovely sort of dark ruby colour. Absolutely. Um, but the aroma this time, there's, there's more dark fruit. There's, there's dark fruit coming through at the beginning. Fantastic. Um, sort of uh, plum sort of aromas. Sort of dark red fruits. Blackberry. Black currant. And again, yeah. but, but uh, and the whiskey's there, but it's a very yeah. there's a very strong fruit um, un, uh, flavour coming yes. through as well. Yeah, no, nice nice fruitiness, um, but again, the, you know, it's a it's a nine percent beer, uh, plenty of uh, plenty of alcohol to hold up the uh, the the flavours, and it's one to uh, sit back by a fireside in the evening and just savour. So, uh, cheers. cheers.